Hello friends, welcome to the Biological Life Sciences channel. Today in this video, we are going to see in details about the phylogenetic analysis and how it is done. So, let's go into the video. Phylogenetic analysis, it's the evolutionary history of a particular organism in which we study the relationship between its ancestor and the present day species and how they have evolved over the time. So, it's the convenient way of uh, showing the relationship among a group of organisms through illustration that is called as a phylogenetic tree. Here, uh, the differences are present in the organisms and common features present in the organisms that it has acquired over the evolution is shown here. So, uh, it f also finds the relationship between ancestral sequences present in the DNA or protein and its descendants. It also estimates the time of divergence between the group of organisms that share a common ancestor. For example, if a particular or if two particular organisms are alike, their ancestor must be same and it must have diverged few or many years ago. So that can be studied here. So let's see what is a phylogenetic tree. It's a model about the evolutionary relationship that operates between taxonomic units. It is based on the homologous structure. Means what are the different types of structure present in that? It depends on that. Okay. So there are two, uh, three different types here which we are going to see in details afterwards. Uh, that is dendrogram, cladogram and phylogram. So what is a tree? It, uh, tree it's, uh, it is composed of nodes and branches uh, or many branches at a time that represents a uh, relationship between two organisms. So what are the characteristics? It can be, it can have nodes that can be internal or external. Each node present, uh, each node represents the last common uh, ancestor of the two lineage. So uh, the last species are present at the end. Uh, the external node also term in, termed as terminal node represents the tip of the tree. Okay. So similarly branches are also there and internal structures are also there in a tree. So this is an example of a tree. You can see here the common ancestor starts from here. These are the branches of the tree and this is the internal node and this is the external node which is present at the tip of the tree. So here you can see there are different uh, species that are present at taxon A, taxon B and taxon C. Here A and B are the sister groups you can see they, ha they are having a common ancestor. So the node at which the taxon A is present is called external node and the node at which the ancestor, common ancestor of A and B is present is called internal node and at the taxon C represents a, a, a separate branch that arises from the common ancestor. So let's see some tree terminologies. The phylogenetic tree can be rooted or unrooted. So a rooted tree means uh, it has a particular origin or a common ancestor in rooted tree but unrooted tree in that we cannot determine a particular common ancestor between the uh, organisms or species. It only specifies the degree of kinship among the taxa but not the evolutionary path here. So common ancestor cannot be predicted here. So the rooted tree is like this where a common ancestor is there and unrooted tree the starting point of unrooted tree is not uh, represented here so it's unrooted one. So the phylogenetic tree can be either scaled or unscaled. In scaled, the branches, their length are proportional to the evolutionary changes. For example, the time, the size of the species, the differences in the species. These are all uh, proportional to the scales present in that uh, phylogenetic tree. Example, phylogram. But in unscaled, it is not to scale, not proportional diagram where you can just represent the differences or similarities here, but it is not proportionate to the lines drawn here. So as in cladogram, okay. So this is a phylogenetic tree of life where the three different domains are shown here, bacteria, archaea and eukarya. You can see how they are commonly related and how they have diversed over the time and here also eukarya. Uh, domain you can see three domains of life that are being represented in the form of phylogenetic tree. So let's see uh, how phylogenetic tree is constructed or what is the steps of construction. So to uh, phylogenetic tree is very important it helps in reconstructing the evolutionary path and develop the understanding of the species also. So first and foremost thing that you have to do in the phylogenetic analysis is the uh, sequence alignment. So sequence alignment uh, needs to be done uh, in uh, phylogenetic tree construction. So first of all the sequence is selected uh, of which the phylogeny is to be determined and that sequence is blasted 
on the internet through blast program and then alignment is done and then after that the alignment uh, is done then the number of sequences are selected through which you are going to draw the phylogenetic tree and this, uh, the alignment is scored here and phylogenetic tree can be constructed using different software so let's see what are the different steps involved here in phylogenetic tree construction first and foremost step is selection of organism or gene family or a particular gene okay or a, you can select a protein also here okay so choosing an appropriate molecular marker here amplifying sequencing and assembly so the molecular marker that is generally used in phylogenetic analysis is 16s rRNA in case of prokaryotes uh, and 18s rRNA as in eukaryotes I have illustrated this uh, two examples that is 16s rRNA and 18s rRNA in my previous videos the link of which will be quoted here somewhere up and in the description so after the uh, sequencing or an analysis or uh, alignment of the 16s and 18s rRNA for respectively eukaryotes uh, and prokaryotes alignment is done here then you have to create an evolutionary model for the phylogenetic analysis so this is done using different softwares for example for example cluster w okay so once the tree is constructed you can uh, choose here what type of tree has to be constructed and then evaluation of the phylogenetic tree is done depending on the sequence similarity so construction of phylogenetic tree there are two methods uh, involved here first is character based methods and distance based methods okay they are uh, involving certain uh, algorithms and uh, methods like neighbor joining method maximum parsimony method maximum likelihood method i won't go into the details of that as it is a bioinformatical algorithm we are going to see what are the different methods here only so let me distinguish between the two the character based methods these are used to align characters only such as dna or protein sequences directly during the tree inf interference you can see inference you can see the species a species b how they are related based or based on the sequences they are aligned and tree is constructed but in distance method it is not so the transformation or the transform the sequence data into pairwise distances or the uh, alignment is scored here you can see different score, uh, scores are given here for each type of uh, species and these sequences are scored based on different methods and then the alignment is done so therefore it's called distance based method in which the distance between the two uh, aligned sequences is shown in the phylogenetic tree so these two are the methods that are used uh, in the phylogenetic tree construction so let's see what are the different types of phylogenetic tree that are available or that can be constructed there are different types here let's see few of them that are important so first of all dendrogram it's a general name for a tree generally phylogenetic tree is called dendrogram where phylogenetic uh, or not hence it is represented uh, diagrammatically it's a general terminology okay the next is cladogram it only represents a branching pattern and its branch length do not corresponds or represents the actual time or relative or uh, actual time it only shows the relative amount of character changes and its internal nodes do not represent ancestor means it's a, it's just a diagram it shows you the relation but it is not proportionate to the diagram uh, next is chronogram it's a phylogenetic tree that explicit uh, represents the time through its branch length so uh, this uh, phylogenetic tree you are constructing is to scale you are using the scale uh, and drawing the phylogenetic tree where the branches length also uh, shows you how much time or how much evolution is there in the species or organisms okay then is phylogram it's a phylogenetic tree that has branches length proportional to the amount of character it's not the time but the character present in that organism so phylogram depends on the characters then is uh, del, uh, uh, del granogram it represents a cross section of the phylogenetic tree where uh, details of a particular phylogenetic tree is shown in an enhanced manner so these are the different phylogenetic tree that uh, that can be constructed using the phylogenetic analysis thank you for watching the video if you like the video please press like button share comment and subscribe the channel if you are having any queries do comment in the comment box and let me know thank you so much for watching